morning, everyone. My name is Mitch Swain. I'm the CEO of the Greater Pittsburgh Arts Council, and I want to thank you all for coming today on this, uh, this great Friday morning. And um, uh, for those of you, because we have a lot of new faces in the room, for those of you who don't know what a Greater Art, Pittsburgh Arts Council is, and we refer to ourselves as GPAC. Uh, we, uh, we're like a chamber of commerce for the arts. And uh, we're uh, very engaged in supporting our members, which number about 250, which basically are you know, all arts and cultural organizations in town and a lot of individual artists. And we're uh, very focused on visibility for the, the sector, advocacy, research, uh, professional development, grants, uh, support for artists, and we try to do all that work as accessible with a line towards accessibility and, and inclusion. And speaking of accessibility, I want to tell you that uh, we are live streaming this event uh, with the help of a uh, hardware store. And um, so you can, if you're interested, we're live streaming on YouTube, and uh, that address is at the hardware store PGH. So I want to thank the hardware store for their help today. Um, I've also been instructed by my director of communications to tell you that we would greatly appreciate it if you would like us and follow us. So, I've done my job. Thank you, Jen. Um, today is the second part of a two-part program designed to create connections, which I think is the biggest thing that we do at GPAC, is create connections. And, and that is not only amongst us that work in, in arts and culture, but uh, in, in a broader sense, those of us who work in creative industries. And we're really thrilled by today's turnout. Uh, we've got folks from Tech. We've got folks from um, the museums. We've got we've got people here from local and state government. We've got consultants. We've got artists, museums, arts organizations. It's, it's, uh, it runs again, and I'm sure I missed over a few people and a few classifications uh, in, in those. But uh, we even have an attorney uh, in the room. <laughs> uh, my good friend Jeff Pollock. Uh, so. Uh, so anyway, thank you very much for coming. We're uh, excited about the opportunity to get people together and, uh, and see what comes from that. So I really want to thank uh, staff uh, you know, for their hard work. And those of you uh, on GPAC staff, if you would just stand up very quickly so I can introduce you. Christiana Leach is in charge of artist relations. And this is my man Dave English. Dave is in charge of membership. And uh, Dave is our newest, uh, newest staff member, so we want to welcome Dave. And then uh, David Pankras is in charge of research and policy here for uh, GPAC. And staff members here and there are a few other people that, uh, that are not in the room that are helping out in other ways. I really appreciate everyone's work, particularly Dave, is getting this together. Uh, this is Jen Saffron, it's our director of communication. <laughs> And uh, I'd also like to thank uh, my board members for their support of our organization and the support of the arts in general. Uh, Joe Smith, my board chair from Dollar Bank, uh, will be here in a little while. And uh, I also really want to uh, uh, say hello and thank you to uh, newest board member Ryan Lamy of Radio Hall Studios. Uh, Ryan, there we go. Thank you, Ryan. And uh, um, most importantly, I really want to thank Marianne Geyer. Uh, of Point Park University for having us here today and, and making us uh, welcome. Uh, she is the uh, Vice President of External Affairs and uh, it is, uh, has been a really great supporter of the arts. So Marianne, would you come up and tell us a little bit about what's happening here at Point Park and thank you very much for your support. Thank you. 